Hello friends, welcome to this program. Uh, in the earlier uh, program, we have discussed about uh, the concept of reliability and uh, we have also discussed about few methods of reliability, means how to determine reliability of a test. Uh, we have discussed about uh, uh, test retest, uh, retest method of reliability. We have also discussed about the parallel forms or the equivalence form method of determining reliability. Today we will discuss one of the method that is called as the internal consistency method of getting reliability. You see in internal, internal consistency method uh, we can use two method under this concept that is called as the split half method and rational equivalence method. So before discussing uh, uh, the concept of split half method and uh, how split half method is used for determining reliability and the concept of rational equivalence method and uh, how rational equivalence method uh, is used to determine reliability. First of all, we should understand that uh, what is the internal consistency reliability method. So internal consistency, the concept of internal consistency reliability method means here uh, there is no question of uh, you know uh, preparing just like in parallel form of method, you are making two equivalent form of test. And in test retest method, what you are doing, uh, you are uh, administering the same test on the same group of uh, the subject twice. Means you are administering the test twice. Means there is a test, then again that test will be re-administered uh, upon the same group of subjects. But here you see, uh, this is the quality of uh, this method in the internal consistency method means uh, uh, the item wise consistency means in a test among the items uh, by using certain formula that will be determined whether the items are internally consistent or not. So that's why it is the quality of the uh, you can say the formula or the method that has been used in the split half method as well as the rational equivalence method. So today we will discuss the concept as well as the method uh, that is being used in split half method of determining reliability. You see, uh, let me to say about to the condition of using the split half method. You see the name of the method is split half. Okay, split means we have to make it means the test will be splitted. Okay, this test we have to make the test into two parts split half okay half one side half other side means half means i am saying the items okay so 50 percent items will be in one side and 50 percent item will be in other side so let us try to understand that how to splitting a test and how to determine the reliability first of all it's like uh, your uh, earlier method uh, like the test uh, retest method here in split half method a single test will be uh, developed means in parallel form method the researcher uh, uh, the researchers were going to develop two parallel form of test but here the researcher will develop only one test means a single form test will be developed then that test will be administered only once and group will also one means uh, uh, let 40 subjects have been selected for administering that test a single test will be developed and the single test will be administered only once on that group of subjects then you see when there is a no chance of retesting it okay so that's why there is no need of any time interval so here one condition that is the time interval what you are using in the earlier test retest method and parallel form method that we are giving a time gap uh, from uh, of, from testing to retesting was 15 days to 6 months so here we are not going to give any time interval because uh, here there is no scope of retesting the test okay so that's why no time interval then for determining the reliability we can use uh, correlation statistic uh, statistics like Spearman method or Pearson method as well as split up reliability formula method so here you see I'm saying 
टू टाइप टू फर्मुला विल बी यूज वन इज द कोरिलेशन फर्मुला एंड अदर इज कॉल्ड एज द रिलायबिलिटी फर्मुला कोरिलेशन फर्मुला मीन्स यू कैन यूज द स्पीयरमैन रैंक डिफरेंस मेथड और रैंक ऑर्डर मेथड एंड द सेकेंड फर्मुला दैट ऑल्सो यू कैन यूज दैट इज द पियर्सन प्रोडक्ट मोमेंट को रिलेशन मेथड बट हियर यू सी आफ्टर यूजिंग द को रिलेशन फर्मुला then further you can use this split hub reliability formula okay so let us try to understand what is split hub reliability formula but before that let us discuss the other condition so after employing this formula when let you are getting a, a, a correlation coefficient that is a, a, a reliability coefficient that is greater than means r is greater than 0.5 just like in earlier cases you can say that your test is a reliable test okay so again if you are getting uh, the reliability coefficient uh, which is very close to uh, plus 1 let it is 0.95 0.92 0.9 0.88 then you can say your test is highly reliable and if you are getting uh, simple you can say 0.51 0.52 0.55 you can say that your test is uh, moderately uh, reliable then here uh, what are the threads okay so here you see the carry over effect memory effect practice effect etc are minimized but splitting the full test into two half is difficult as it can be done in many ways like odd even first 50 items and next 50 items accordingly so when we talk about you know splitting the item so uh, we can use many method by splitting the item as example let we have developed a test uh, uh, of 50 items okay so we can split the item means i can keep uh, first 25 item in one part and uh, uh, next 25 item in other part means item number serial number of the item 1 to 25 in one side and uh, serial number of item 26 to 50 in other side uh, so here also i am getting uh, uh, i am making to equal part of the test 25 items in one side and 25 items in other side i can also do in uh, using other method so what i can do i can keep all the odd items in one side and all the even item in the other side like item number 1 3 5 7 9 11 13 15 okay, uh, till 49 in one side and item number all the even items item number 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 up to item number 15 other side so here also i will get 25 items each in both the sides but you see when you are splitting the item and when you will employ the correlation method uh, uh, let in the same administration you are using uh, both the uh, both the technique both the methods both the splitting method okay one is odd even and other is uh, uh, you can say Uh, that is first 50% item and the next 50% item you will find that uh, you will not find exact result the same result so there will be certain gap of result you will find gap of uh, correlation coefficient you will find means certain difference you will find so that's why this is one of the threat or error you can say splitting the item because there is not one method to split the item but uh, uh, still then it is a good method we can say that is one of the highly used method as most of the errors are minimized then next we will discuss that uh, uh, how to uh, you know uh, split the items i have already discussed that you can use odd item in one side and even item in one side then next we will come to the formula you see what you will do after splitting the item uh, you have to find out the correlation between the first 25 items and the last 25 items part past 50% item and the last 50% uh, of the items okay so uh, what you will do you have to use either spearman method or pearson method rank difference method or product moment method to get the correlation coefficient of two half test okay so in earlier method what you are doing we are using correlation coefficient to determine the correlation of the full test so there we are not splitting the test so here when we splitted the test into two halves two equal halves so what you will get we will get two sets of score means scores from odd items then scores from the even items or score from first 50 items and scores from second 50 items so we will get two sets of scores so when we are getting 
two sets of scores so what you will do you have to employ the correlation method either spearman or pearson to determine the correlation coefficient so that is called as r half okay r half r half is the correlation coefficient of the two half test then after getting correlation coefficient of two half test then what you will do the second uh, method that is called as the spearman brown prophecy formula for determining reliability of a full test and the formula is that is rtt rtt is the uh, correlation coefficient of the full test rtt is equal to 2r half plus 1 plus r half means what you will do you have to multiply 2 with the correlation coefficient already you have established between the two half test then you have to divide it with adding 1 with the correlation coefficient of two half test so by using this method you can determine the correlation coefficient or the reliability coefficient uh, in sp uh, split half method of a test and if the reliability coefficient is uh above or more than 0.5 you can say that your test is a reliable test and if it is less than 0.5 then you cannot say that uh, your test is a reliable test so friends by using split half method you see most of the errors are getting minimized so here carry over effect memory effect and practice effect are absolutely minimized because when you are not going to test uh, twice or of when you are not uh, developing two sets of tests okay two equivalent tests so here there is no question of uh, uh, you know carry over memory and practice effect because uh, the subject will appear only once okay only one testing will be done so where there is the question of memory effect means uh, uh, nothing will carry from one situation to Uh, other situation first situation to the second situation because here here there is no question of second situation but only one threat is as i have already discussed here the the, the only one threat that is splitting the items into two equal parts because you can method you can use different methods different techniques for splitting the items as i have told you you can keep all the odd items in one side and all the even items in other side the second techniques that you can use you can you can uh, uh, keep a uh, uh, fast 50% of the items that is uh, if total items are 50 then serial number 1 to 25 in one side then 20 item number serial number of item 26 to 15 in other side then uh, in different ways in different methods you can splitting the item and and if you are using different method of splitting the item and if you Uh, determine the reliability coefficient of each method you will find that uh, there is certain gap there is certain difference between the reliability coefficient so that's why which one is the ideal method we cannot say that this one is the ideal method so that's why every method every formula every technique is having certain error so you can say this is the error which is aligned with the uh, split half method of reliability so friends uh, today we discuss about the concept of or uh, internal consistency method and uh, under internal consistency method uh, we discuss about uh, the split half method and how to determine the reliability coefficient by using the split half method thank you